I realize I can't hear myself over there. So. <laughs> okay, uh, if I sometimes I can't hear me, tap and speak up. Uh, so I, yeah, it's funny that I am following Nestor because we talk about decomposing, decomposing, etc. Things like that. You know, when you're still alive, you don't realize that after we we go away from this world, we are going to be part of that. So, <laughs> so that's exactly the topic which I'm talking about. So it's interesting that I'm, I'm following behind Nestor. So the thing is, you know, we are so, uh, I, I gather most of us, uh, you know, in the Roman Catholic religion or when it comes to Christians, we generally, uh, once the once a person passes away, we enter ourselves by putting him in a coffin, we dress him up well in suit, bow tie, etc. And then we put him, uh, we bury him in the ground. Many Muslims also do it, yeah. Uh, when it comes to the Hindus, they go for cremation, wherein a lot of wood is burnt around, yeah. So. These three things, well, well, no matter which religion we follow, the point is we end up cons uh, consuming natural resources okay, which are damaging to the environment. So we are not just thinking about ourselves during when we are living here, we have to think about ourselves even after we pass away because we have to, we have to conserve ourselves for future generations. So uh, the main thing I want to talk about today is mostly when it comes to the, the Catholics. Because Catholics is one thing where it's most easiest to do here in, uh, in Goa. Uh, it's been tried out in a few places, it's already running successfully in Bombay, in Kalina, in Kurna and in my parishes. Okay, these three parishes for the last four years now. Thanks to a few people who have been propagating it. Uh, this is something that we have been telling people. See, the Roman, the Roman Catholics, okay, the Christian religion, they are so used to it. We have incarcerated right now to be making sure that when we die, we take the best coffin, we make it a deep coffin, we we'll, we'll put some metal on it, what not and all. Then we'll dress them up in the best clothes, they're also normally synthetic. Most of the clothes today are mostly synthetic, the pants, etc. And then we will bury the person into the earth. So a study was conducted four years back by one of the uh, doctors. Uh, uh, this Pinto, I forgot his first name, I have it on my mobile. Uh, he, he was a PhD in biomethane, uh, bio etc. And he was doing an interesting study of how bodies were decomposing. So generally, if you would know, even if you go to most of the churches today, the general practice is after three years, they exhumed the grave and then they put the bones into a niche. When they went to, this was this study was done particularly in Bombay, they realized that the decomposing process had changed radically. Now instead of, change, now instead of taking three years, it was changing, it was changed to eight years. And why? Not because of the way the people were being buried, but because of how we were buried. Couple of things, a very interesting observation. Number one, we tend to use things like uh, uh, teak coffin. Teak is one wood, by example, which we all know is one of the best wood. But when we put the body in the coffin, teak is actually sealing it. It's not allowing oxygen to come in. So it's preventing the process of decomposing, natural process. Not just teak, even if we look at any most of the other coffins that are there, ultimately we are taking wood, we are sealing it and then we are putting ourselves inside the inside the ground, right? So what we are proposing, what these churches are doing is instead of doing it, we go back to the olden times, to, to, uh, uh, to BC as we can say, where the bottom was just wrapped in a linen shroud and then it was lowered inside the earth, yeah? This is canonically correct. So it has been accepted by the church. It's just that, you know, we are inculcated into thinking that after we die, after we go away, we have to be put into a coffin and then bury it down. Unfortunately, even better concept to make it uh, think would have been into an electric incinerator. Unfortunately, that is not viable in a place like Goa. Because an electric incinerator requires to be used at least once in every, uh, sorry, it can, uh, it has to go in capacity of two bodies an hour, which in Goa is not viable because we don't have that much of quantity. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's not viable because the same electric crematorium was tried and it, it failed. Within a month it failed because the maintenance cost was very high. I mean, they were getting it one body every two days and all. So it was just not viable. So what happens is then we have to look at alternate methods. And the best alternative method is when it comes to burials is we just wrap the body in a shroud and we put it inside the earth. And it is perfectly fine. There is nothing wrong if you, if any priest goes to you and tells you no, that's not correct. It has to be done. And you please go to him and ask him what it says in the Bible. You can please go to him and ask him to check any uh, authority in the church. They will show you all canonically how it's perfectly correct. It's this is uh, this is perfectly in line with maintaining the dignity of the human being to put him inside and uh, bury him with a 
just wrapping him with a shroud. It has I, been done, no, actually. It has there, been there done in videos. many occasions, even in Goa. There I are, personally have interned two people, my own father-in-law and my own neighbor. Yes. yes. And, and even Swami Joe, Swami Joe, Joe. Yes, so there are a lot of people who have done it. It's perfectly fine. You just have to, uh, the thing is, this happens after you have died, after you are dead and gone. So it's very important that you need to conform with your family, you need to talk with your family, talk with your friends, relatives, so that they are aware of the decision which you have made and they know that this is what you want to do. Yeah, It's something a little touchy, of course, we are talking about some, after we are dead and gone, nobody likes to talk about dying, but we have to think about our future at the end of the day. So, you know, it's something that we need to talk to people, okay, fine, when I am dead, when I am gone, this is how I want to be interred, this is how I want to be uh, buried, I don't want any expense, I just want simple, uh, uh, shroud to be wrapped around me so that nobody can see etc and a uh, body load into the earth and also one thing as I mentioned before is the dressing yeah preferably dress sim body simply in cotton outfits a cotton shirt cotton pant we don't uh, it's very easy to detect what is copper what is cotton what is synthetic I mean if you don't know take a small lighter just take a uh, fiber from the shirt okay and try and burn it with the lighter if it's cotton it will just burn without any smoke you know, very smokeless, it will be oil made with white smoke. If it's something, if it's a synthetic fiber, it will burn with a blackish kind of smoke. So you know immediately it's a synthetic fiber. So it's very easy for us to, to know whether it's cotton or synthetic fiber. So it's important also the clothes that we wear. Not just, okay, fine, I don't want to be buried in the coffin. The clothes that we wear are also important. Yeah? For example, during the COVID situation, the second wave last year, uh, the practice of the government was uh, because they were all scared, it's, 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 you know, it's spreading, spreading and all that. They told everyone, okay, fine, if you're burying it, don't take the body out of the, you know, the covering that is there and all that, just burn it like that. But the doctors were laughing, I was laughing and all, because the, ultimately, it's, the body is not breathing, you're not breathing out of COVID. So we were, when we actually brought the body in, for example, we were just taking it out and interning them like that. You know, so it's very different. We have to get rid of all these concept, this concept, misconceptions rather, the rumors that are there. We have to understand how we need to be buried because these are things that uh, we need to think about. We need to think about because it's future. It's something that, you know, for 2000 years we have been surviving. The human race, human race has been surviving. We have to think of the next 2000. We can't just be narrow-minded think only about ourselves. I mean, the human race has changed, evolved drastically in the last 200 years. And given that, you know, we, we, have, we have evolved so rapidly, we have to think about the next 2000. Because these are small things that come at the end of the day. There are only one also. That's the theme of, it, of the environment day today. So, uh, any questions? I'd like to... Uh, well, I what are the answer. problems? What are the problems? The problems is mainly in our mind. It's culture. It's simple problem is culture. For example, uh, in Corbin, this three days ago, uh, somebody who already uh, had had this wish, they expressed it to their family that they wanted to be interred and buried only inside a linen shroud. Yeah, and when they went, uh, after they died, the family went to the parish priest. The parish priest made a big noise in Corbin, saying that no, it's not canonically correct. And we had to, they called us up, we had to make phone calls, we had to show them, we had to get the parish priest or my him to call him up and explain to him and all that. And finally, then the poor chap was allowed to be interred. So you know, it's just misconception. It's it's rumors from people, and it's it's not it's not being communicated out in the public. So this is tradition. You know, we need to tradition. I would say what it's not what tradition. This tradition has occurred only because, in the last because no no years. no no Christ was buried in a shroud. Yeah. Christ was buried in a shroud, yes, not in a coffin. Exactly. Exactly. Not so in a coffin. Tradition is created. Remember that. Yeah. So, yeah. Actually, yeah. the body can be put on some kind of a bamboo uh, frame. Yes, it can be put on a bamboo frame. It can be put on a bamboo frame. That is what we do normally. Because what happens is in Goa, unfortunately we don't have a beautiful coffin. In, in uh, Bombay, what they have with these three parishes is they have done, a, they have got a reusable coffin. So the body is kept in the coffin so that people can bring it in, etc. Even for the church, they can bring it and they can put it in the coffin. Once it's actually taken to the graveyard, the body is transferred from the coffin to the shroud. I have a short video with me in case you want to see it. Yeah? The body stays on, on the, uh, on the linen, once it's on the linen shroud, it's a bed sheet. Two, three people can hold it, either lower it down, or most of the undertakers, like in my case, like I told you, my practical experience, we asked the Hindus who were very cooperative to make a bamboo stretcher, like how they take for the for all cremation. The, uh, cremation. For cremation. Yeah, we put the body on the stretcher and we lower the stretcher down. They're always doing it. They're always it. doing it. It's very easy to make a bamboo stretcher. They're always doing it. So the body itself Muslims also do it. Some kind of clock, so the body. 
problem because many articles his father started this about 10 15 years back many articles were published even in renewal the church magazine with some kind of approval from the top it is the people at the bottom who have you know hang ups so if you just since you did ask me about the church you just google saint michael's church mahem they actually have had a direction from the bishop ah the direct it's on their website the thing is the bishop will not send it out to everyone for whatever reason <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Very good. Very good. But it's acceptable. Now, most of the priests here allow it and all that. I've done it in Saliga, we've done it in Moira, we've done it in so many other parishes. It all depends from person to person, from priest to priest person. So, anything else? I have my laptop in case you want to see it, I can. When Desmond Tutu died in South Africa, he was given a very, uh, I mean, environment friendly burial. But using chemicals like alkali, alkali and high temperature, what do you think about this? Yeah, uh, the Desmond Tutu, you know, who died yeah, very yeah. recently, yeah. and he was given a special burial that is in a chemical alkaline solution. I would uh, I would say that is not the correct solution at all because then we are we are uh, defeating the whole purpose of making making it natural. Yeah, so the body is naturally decomposing. You're going to get maybe, 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 the earth. No, maybe they, they have some other solution. Yeah, I, I, don't I don't know the full details. Within, well, within one day, I think the entire thing is decomposed. I see. Decomposed. Well, I don't the, think the, the that's option. exactly what uh, Nestor is trying to avoid. Yeah, I mean, they like can easily problem. use uh, the chemicals and decompose very fast. But it's using a natural system. No, because the end of the day, they're returning the, composting. The, the other option is to donate a body to science. There are many options. The issue is not theology. The issue is practice and tradition. Yeah. What people expect of you, what will the people say, those kind of things. Yeah, to, uh, GMC yeah. accepts, no? GMC Goa Medical accepts College accepts. Yeah, they accept, they accept. I know a lot of people who actually Cadivers. have given donated their bodies for science. See, think about it this way. If you look at the Indian Institute of Health, they have a doctor who is the doctor going to practice on? Would you like him to be your first operation? No. All the doctors practice on dead bodies, cadavers. This is why we are asking people either donate your body towards the, the medical hospital or you can enter yourself properly. Medical hospital accepts a lot, and that is exactly what happens. Or unclaimed bodies from the mall for more than three months and all that, uh, that, that come in, they go automatically for uh, for the uh, as cadaver as they for the uh, medical students. Yeah, because so that's the only way they get the chance to operate. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you.